My dudes, what's going on? Version 1.72 just came out introducing the Atom Collider. Anyways, let's get into it. Now, how does one get the Atom Collider? In construction, at the very last one at the top, you can construct it for Nullo Salts and Shattered Skulls, which are the base material for Purgatory Stalkers. Once you've crafted this beautiful monstrosity, it will show up at the top of World 3, right next to the EZ Totem. So let's actually explain how it works. The Atom Collider is another buffing tool. Think of it as a later game salt lick, but instead of using salts, you use atoms. You have an on and off button, but before you press it, Make sure you go down to the conversion threshold and change this before turning it on, because its default is set to 15 million resources, so that means everything in your storage that is more than 15 mil will be turned into atoms. And yes, I made this mistake. All my beautiful stacks got chunked. Looks like it's time to get back to the 3D print grind. Pain. Now, some of these buffs are actually really strong. Obviously, since it's day one, we all don't know the different buffs, but from the ones that we could see, you know that they're going to be really good. For instance, Helium gives power of 10 resource talents an extra stack, which levels up enough you can make this very strong, like mining efficiency for copper ore in your storage tab, or telekinetic logs for catching efficiency, or Hydrogen, that decreases stamp cost over time instead of needing a god-awful amount of carry capacity for one upgrade, because they get up into the millions. The new yellow bubble in the cauldron will also make this a cheaper cost for Tremor Worm's base material before the update, it was a chance at two times atoms, but I think this is a more permanent, better trade-off in my opinion. If we look, in order to get one particle, you will need to trade in a total of 10 million resources for the upgrades. So what I would suggest in your shoes, and currently what I'm doing, is to start farming this bad boy out, is make sure all your characters are 3D printing the very first material. For instance, Miner is going to be Copper Ore, a Chopper is going to be Oak Logs, a Bug is probably going to be Catching Flies, so you can get the highest prints possible because it doesn't need specific materials. It's just materials in general. And the later you get, you start getting millions upon millions of 3D prints for these materials. I think Atom Collider is a great addition to the game due to having such an abundance of materials. Now we have something for them to go into, which is great. The upgrades, I have a sneaky feeling that are going to be super goaded and well worth the investment. Now you know how the Atom Collider works. Let's take a quick look at some of the other changes that happened with version 1.72. With the new addition, there are some gem shop items in the limited special. These rings vary from World 2, World 3, and World 4 that gives you 30% more kills. Now, let's make this clear. This is not multi-kill. This is kill per kill. So this is meant for pushing portals and for increasing death note. This is, does not increase XP. These do not increase 3D prints. These do not increase drop rate. It is specifically kill per kill. So it falls along the same lines. The Crescent Moon XP Pendant, which gives you 35% XP, it's actually not too bad. Also comes with 5% mob respawn. Buy these at your own leisure. They're kind of, I mean, if anything, plus one slab. And of course, you can pick up a nice uh, chunk of eight cosmic candies, which have a chance to ding for 500 hours. But I mean, to get 500 hours, I've only seen it once. Now, the other patch note stuff, I'm just going to go over quickly, just the main ones so you guys know how it is. First off, we got brand new storage, so you get plus eight to storage for free, which feels good, man. There's also more storage drops from World 5 enemy mobs. So, I mean, we can never have enough storage. Let's be real. This game is literally storage manager. There was a bug fix for sailing, so that implemented, so everything works like artifact chance, rare chance, sailing speed, loot value. All that stuff is now officially working. Brand new bubble art for alchemy, which is great. I can finally start working on an alchemy guide. Also, a lot of people don't know how to read Roman numerals, so, I mean, it just makes it a little bit easier. Troll is now farmable once you have the third troll task in the World 4 tab, which was much needed. So now troll, you can go ahead and try to farm your troll wings out. We can finally purchase max quantity in the shop, which is huge for us, and so we don't have click and hold and wait for that. All you have to do is quick purchase, click the plus sign, and it'll buy the max quantity for you. And one of the biggest ones and the ones I'm most excited for is the alchemy bubbles will now only cost one type of material instead of multiple materials. This will make it so much easier for new players and older players to try to get those bubbles up higher. So it was more than welcome. One downside is cards don't count for slab anymore. So I mean, I guess welcome to the negative 100 slab count game. Kind of feels bad, man, but it is what it is. And the talent library in construction can be upgraded to level 100 now it was originally level 50 so now we get a little bit more fresh out talent speed which means more books equals big happy 
There was a couple more bug fixes, but I just wanted to make this nice, short, sweet, and quick. So if you want to check out the rest, you can go check it out on the Eidolon main Discord. Anyways, my dudes, that was just a quick update on the brand new content. Leave a comment below about what you think about the Atom Collider. I would love to hear about it. All my socials and Discord are in the description below. Anyways, my dudes, I got to get back to the guide grind. Stay tuned for the next Eidolon video. Stay safe. Happy grinding and peace out.